Fabulous thunder words. Well, the, the, the lineup has changed a little in, the, in, in years, but you still manage to get a, a couple of talented people uh, around you. The Muller. Yeah, yeah, I've got a great band. I have the, the, the Muller brothers uh, from Texas, and uh, also uh, Mike Keller, he's from Austin. And Randy, the guy you just met, he he's, lives up in uh, the Bay Area, California. And uh, it's an outstanding band. Records and CDs have always been pretty much promotional things. I mean, I've, I've sold almost two million CDs, rec records and CDs before, you know, and uh, you see some from that. You see a little bit of a living. I mean, now you, you're in control because you don't even really need to have a label. You can sell them yourself. You can uh, have an online store. You can sell them off the bandstand. And uh, you make much more money on a much smaller amount of CDs. If I sold uh, 50,000 CDs, I'd make more money than selling over a million with a record company so that's the way it works you know now uh, y you also learn uh, some new respect for record labels because you have to spend a lot of money in the recording process you have to spend a lot of money on publicity you have to get a really good publicist and uh, you know all the stuff that you have to do check, check up on the radio um, and now you have all the internet radio things happening, you know, keeping up with the websites, blah, blah, blah. But, but you know, it, it's, uh, at least now, you know where your money is going. And with a record label, you don't really know. With the, you know... Um, it's more honest. Yeah, well, yeah, because you, it's, your, it's your own money. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's a funny thing, but... but uh, also, when we recorded, I mean, we took about a year to record this. We had a session in, uh, in uh, October, and then we had another session later on in the spring, and we decided we needed more songs. Now, a label would have been going, you're done, you know. And, you know, we remixed it a couple times. So those are the kind of artistic freedoms that you have when you do it yourself. That, uh, to me, that's very important. Because every record that you make, especially with a label, <coughs> you know, there's always something that you want back. I wish I had that back. Oh, I could do that better now. Blah, blah, blah. And I think uh, you avoid that kind of stuff with, with uh, doing that. No, I mean, I'm, sometimes I hear a beat, sometimes uh, I'm looking for a certain beat, sometimes, you know, a message, uh, a lot of times uh, a musical hook, a lot, a lot of time too, it all comes together at once. That's when, when it's easy like that, usually the song's pretty good. Now these guys are very, very creative, and uh, they've really opened up a lot of... Um, musical doors for me like you know I'm, I'm able to play a little more blues soul r&b than i have been in the past and uh they're, they're very uh original you know they have their own style they have their own take on things and to me that's the most important thing that and they think like a band not like individuals like a band and that's that's very 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 important was it a problem in the past that there are too much egos on the stage? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, the players have been great in this band, and every player I've had has been fantastic. But, you know, sometimes they, they, uh, they think about themselves more than they do about uh, the group. And whether you want to make that an ego, I don't know what it is. You know, they've all been nice people, too, for the most part. So, but sometimes when people get on a bandstand, you know, they sprout horns. <laughs> this is an inspiration.
inspiration for a lot of young uh, musicians and especially uh, harmonica players. Are you watching the youngsters uh, in, in the scene, in the blues scene nowadays? A little. I'm really more... Uh, if I see someone going in the right direction, uh, I'll, I'll be there for them. You know, I'll, I'll help them out as best I can. Uh, the guys in my band are pretty young. I mean, they're in their early 30s to mid 30s, and, and that, to me, that's young. But uh, <coughs> Kim Wilson, the mentor. Well, uh, Kim Wilson, the greedy person. You know, <laughs> I like. I just want the best people that I can get, and it doesn't matter what age they are. These guys happen to be very mature uh, beyond their years musically and and uh, it, it's just a pleasure to work with them you know I mean it's really the first time it's happened like this in uh, the whole 36 37 years that this band's been in existence it's the first time it's really uh, you know and I've pumped up other bands before sure because the players were great and and the, the whole thing looked great on paper but uh, you don't really know until you're with them for a while what's going to happen, and I think that uh, you know the, the the test of time. You know, you're always with if you have a girlfriend, you don't know what she's like till you live with her. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it can be great, it can be not so great, and for her too. Now you know, I'm not the easiest person to live with. <laughs> I want to keep making music that stands up to the test of time, you know. I want, my standard is all the people who, uh, like Muddy Waters and Little Walter and, and people like that who came before. And uh, so it's really kind of unattainable. You don't really, uh, you just keep going. And if you get in on the basement of it, you know, if you bust your head through the basement of that peer group, um, about you, your, you your blues harps, um, are you particular about the brand or the, the, the type you're playing with? I play Marine Band. I got a guy in uh, Jolly at Illinois who works on them for me. So they're not throwaways anymore. This guy's name is Joe Felisco. <laughs> and uh, Joe Felisco, Jolly at Illinois. <laughs> How many concerts do you still perform in a year? How many concerts? How many shows? Oh, jeez, uh, it's hard to say. 150, something like that. I don't know. That's a lot. Do, I used to do 320. I was on the road 320 days one year, and I hovered around the 300 range for a long time, and uh, I decided I <laughs> for you to do the traveling or the stage? No, no, traveling is easier. I'm used to it. You know, it, I really, I'm not doing the things that I used to do, for one thing, <laughs> which makes it a lot easier. And, and uh, you know, you just know how to get on track. You know, you, if you don't sleep that first day and then wait till the night time, <laughs> you're all right. Well, with these wise words, we're going to round up this, uh, <laughs> this small interview. We, have, we hope you have a good show. Well, we are pretty convinced about that, and uh, thank you for this interview. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs>